Hello friends, welcome to my channel Think Constructive. I'm Isha. I'm a software professional with almost two decades of industry experience. Today we will be talking about GitHub. So I'll give you the brief introduction of GitHub and that will be followed by GitHub account creation. So what is GitHub? In simple words, GitHub is a version control tool. There are many version control tools available already, but GitHub among all is the most popular tool which is used very widely in the entire software industry as well as in the teaching and student communities also. Why? Because GitHub offers a lot of features for free that will be available publicly as well as if there are enterprise applications and more collaboration kind of stuffs are needed, then GitHub will offer the licensed paid services also. So that is a brief introduction of GitHub. Let us quickly deep dive into the GitHub account creation. So for creating a GitHub account, all you need is an email. All right, it can be your Gmail account, Yahoo account, Rediff account, whichever you like, you can use that email account to create your GitHub account. Okay, so I'll just type GitHub in my Google bar and the first link which I'm getting is github.com. So I'll go there. I'll open the GitHub page and this is the GitHub home page. So what is it asking for? I want to create my GitHub account. That means I should say sign up for GitHub. All right. So there are two options. You can see sign in and sign up. So sign in is for them who are already having their GitHub account. They can just simply use the GitHub credentials to sign in or you can just go ahead and sign up your GitHub account from here or from here, whichever place you like. All right. So I have already uh, have my Gmail account, which I will be using to create the GitHub account. So I'll just give my Gmail account here. And then I said sign up for GitHub. So it will take me to this page. I've already given my email ID. I'll just say continue. It will ask me to give me the password. You can give any password of your choice. But my recommendation is to give a good a strong password so that no one can hack your GitHub account because going forward, you will be placing major repositories or major code here. So ideally a password should be the mix of a small case, uppercase, alphabets, and uh, certain special characters. Okay. So I have just given the password. I will say continue. Then it is asking me a username. So I can give any username which I like, but definitely it has to be available with the github so i'll just uh, give my same username user tc1 so it's saying it's not available so probably i can suffix is with a numeric one and now this is available so user tc alphabetical one and then numeric one so this is available so i'll just say continue now it is asking me whether I would like to receive product updates or announcements, etc. So generally, I personally find these information useful from the GitHub community. In my case, I'll go ahead and say yes. If you don't want, you can just proceed with no also. That is also perfectly fine. So no issues with that. Now, the next step is verification of my account. So I'll 
just say start puzzle because uh, via puzzle they verify us whether we are humans or not interesting right so pick the spiral galaxy so i'll just keep on clicking on that one completed another spiral galaxy done then one more spiral they want me to click and now it is verified so i'll go ahead and say create my account all right so when i say create my account it will send a verification code to the email id which i have entered all right so you need to keep your email account open just to be a bit fast and flexible i'm just waiting for the email yeah here it is my github launch code i can simply copy and paste this launch code all right and just copy and give this launch code here okay so my email account is verified so welcome to the github message i have got and now it is asking uh, some basic information like how many team members will be working in my case it is just me you can select your team size but yeah be careful if you will select the bigger team size it might consider it as an enterprise account all right so i'll just say just me let's say i'm creating a student account continue and then which all specific features i would be wanting so i'll say collaborative coding that is very useful because all uh, github push pull code review request all that falls under this then automation ci cd pipeline that is another very important thing for any uh, software developer security what i would choose is the basic security features as of now because i'm creating a free account for myself but enterprise security can also be selected then client apps i want to use github on mobile command line as well as desktop yes i would want them i would also want their project management tools i would also want to have their team administration stuff and then the community stuff so principally i have selected almost all the features what they are proposing and then i'll proceed now it is showing me the plans which are available so you can see there are majorly two types of plans free wherein i will get unlimited private public repo, repo. so just in case if you are using it for your personal use or two three people just placing your code and collaborating free can be used how many actions per month or per minute it's 2000 which is which is really a very good number then package storage 500 mb and then the community support so these all basic things are covered in the free github account just in case you want more that means more actions per month more package storage web based support and more like page wikis drafting your request then you can go ahead with the github pro and then uh, just in case uh, you want that and then github student developer pack or this one right but these are the student benefits if if uh, you have you know kind of uh, if you are the student then you can go ahead with this i am creating continue for free all right so here it is it is initializing my dashboard and creating a free github account for myself so now my github account is ready you can see my username here my profile all right and here i can just check I should have received a welcome github email also probably it's getting delayed no worries yeah so my github account is ready so that's all about today's session thank you thank you for watching the video and if you like it please give me a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel to get more uh, video updates in future. Yeah, thank you so much.